uh, Jim Barbarossa. My wife and I are the founders of Step by Step Ministries. And I would like to share with you tonight a vision that was birthed in our ministry that is now known as Real Life Stories Books. And that vision was birthed 27 years ago, three days after I came to know Jesus as Savior. The church I was attending invited a young man by the name of Raymond Moore to come into a Bible study on Wednesday night, three days again, three days after I got saved, and teach us how to write our personal salvation testimonies. He taught us what should be said, what should not be said, how it should be laid out, how to format it, etc., etc., etc. And being a young Christian of three days, I took to heart what the man of God had to say, and I went home and I immediately wrote my testimony took my testimony to the print shop the next day and ran off 25 copies and proceeded to start giving them away. The uh, very first testimony that I gave away, four people came to know Jesus because of it. After that, I became a walking testimony machine. Everywhere I went, sharing testimonies here and there and everywhere. That grew in to providing people with flyers like these. And these flyers are simply the person's born again testimony in a threefold flyer format. The front of the testimony is like a headline like you would have on a newspaper. Then the person's story inside and then a chance for the person to receive Jesus on the back of the flyers. Well those testimonies evolved into the first real life storybook and the first real life storybook looked like this and I call this the original Facebook before there was a Facebook many years ago faces on both the front and the back cover and the story of these born-again Christians laced between the pages what makes this book really important is that the Word of God is also laced between the people's testimonies. So when a person receives a book and they read it, they receive not only the character of Christ and the testimonies of the people who have gotten saved, but they also receive the Word of God. We were able to help a church that was a typical church in America where only about 3% of the total congregation would share their faith. And over a period of about three short lit years, we were able to take that church to 50% of the people sharing their faith. This book grew into a bigger version with more stories, which grew into another version with more stories. And we gave away about 300,000 of those over a period of years. And then I had the idea that we were to change the format of the book and go more with something that almost looked like a novel. And we came up with Lighthouse. And then the Lighthouse edition and the Lighthouse series books were birthed, and this was the first edition. And that led to Lighthouse 2, which led to Lighthouse 3. And one of the things I want to tell you about all the faces on the back of the books, in almost every case, the people had a heart to want to share Jesus but nobody ever really taught them how to share Jesus. By putting people's testimonies in a book, we were able to give them a tool that they felt confident in. A tool that they could walk up to somebody in the doctor's office or the grocery store or wherever it might be and confidently offer it to somebody without a big chance of being rejected. The rejection rate in giving people a real life story Christian testimony book is almost nothing. Uh, for about every 150 books my wife and I, Carly, give away, we might have one person say, hey, not me, I, I'd rather not have that. So it's very minimal. That grew into edition four, which grew into edition five, which grew into edition six, which grew into edition seven. Along the way, while these editions were sharing the testimonies of average born-again Christians, 
the Lord said to me, I want you to do a prison book. <laughs> and my initial response was, God, I don't know anything about jail. I don't know anything about prison. I've never been in a prison. I've never known it and done anything in this prison system. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anybody who has. And as I'm sitting in front of my computer, the Lord speaks to me very clearly and says, check your emails. There are six people that you know that have something to do with prison ministry. Send out an email blast. And I did, and I was amazed. I started getting responses. And I simply told them about the vision that God gave me to do a book featuring the stories of inmates in the prison system. And that was in, I think, November of the year. And it wasn't within a a few short months, the next thing I know, I'm in a maximum security prison speaking to a couple hundred inmates. And those couple hundred inmates is where the idea of the book was birthed, real life stories, inmate to inmate. And a short time later, that book went into print, real life stories, inmate to inmate. This book is now in the prison. Now in over a hundred. No, I'm sorry. This book is now in over 350 prisons and jails across America. They're in Canada. They're in Australia. They're in New Zealand. And we hear from anywhere from five to ten men and women in the prison system every month who are giving their lives to Christ because of these books being put into the system. I shouldn't be surprised, because when it's a God idea, it bears fruit. So that book was birthed, and in the midst of that, the Lord spoke again and said, I want you to do a book for truck drivers. And so I went to a couple truck driver type rallies, Christian truck drivers, organizations, and I tried to promote it, tried to talk about it. And at the end of one of the rallies, I had one man who said, I'll do that. And it wasn't a short time later, and his testimony showed up. And it took five years before I heard from any more truck drivers. But when I did, it was from a guy by the name of John Knoll. And John and I connected. And within a year, we had enough stories to produce a book called Real Life Stories Truckers Edition. Real Life Stories Truckers Edition features the testimonies of around 27 born-again truck drivers. And this book is being used already in truck stops all over the United States. Uh, our friend, Trucker John, has contacts and connections in about 130 truck stops and trucking organizations across the country. And he not only gives these books away, but he gives away all of our real life story books, including, including the prison book. And so these books through Trucker John are going all over the United States. And that brings us to the latest book, Lighthouse Edition 6 in the Spanish language. This book was a tough book to produce. We were fought every step of the way. Once the book was printed though, Within a very short time, a couple of weeks, it was in 12 grocery stores, Spanish-speaking grocery stores, in the Holland and Grand Rapids, Michigan area, and not single books, but cases of books were going out through the customers through, the, through these locations. This book has only been in print for maybe six months, and 40,000 copies have already gone out to many places. In addition to these books, God has given me a vision to do other books. One of the books that's in the works is Real Life Stories, First Responders Edition. Another book that's in the works is Real Life Story Bikers Edition. Another book that's in the works is Real Life Stories Veterans Edition. We've already got the testimonies of four veterans and so we're waiting for 25 more veterans to write their stories, and we're going to get that veterans book out there. And once that book out, is out there, it'll be used in veterans parades, memorial parades, 4th of July. It'll go into the VA clinics, VA hospitals. It will be used all over the nation, and it's a beautiful red, white, and blue cover. 
And there's several other books we're thinking about doing, one for teenagers, one for kids and young people in college. It, it's like the Apostle Paul said, that we need to be a Jew to a Jew, a Greek to a Greek, a Gentile to a Gentile. We need to speak in their lingo, in their language. And so for a truck driver, we became a truck driver. For an inmate, we became an inmate. And for the veterans, we're going to have a veterans book. And we're going to, we're going to have these different titles for meet, re, reaching different people. In the midst of all of this, God gave us a connection with uh, a group out of Canada. And Lighthouse Edition 7 actually features the testimonies of seven people from Canada. So the books are being used there for the country. And then the next connection God gave us was through a place called Love Packages. Love Packages Love pack is located in the, uh, the state of Illinois. And what Love Packages does is they take Christian literature and they bag it in love pack in packages and they send it in cargo containers to 60 nations of the world. Every time we place a book order for 40,000 books, 5,000 go directly to Trucker John. 5,000 go directly to love packages. In addition to love packages, God has also connected us to another ministry called Mission Cry. And Mission Cry is located in Michigan. And they go into, they send Christian literature into 180 nations of the world. We order 40,000 books. They generally print 42 because they do an overrun. But 5,000 go to Trucker John. 5,000 go to Love Packages, 5,000 goes to Mission Cry. We're not only reaching our local area, but we are also reaching the farthest parts of the world. Now let me pause there just for a second and read this scripture. Um, this is found in Acts chapter 1, verse 8. And this is the heart of what we do. This is the heart of the, our ministry. But you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem. That's the close places. That's where we're, that's where we're at. That's our own city. In Jerusalem, and also in Judea, the surrounding cities, and also in Samaria, surrounding cities of different culture or ethnic group, and then unto the uttermost parts of the world. So, what has happened is God has given us a small network so that we are able to so that we are able to take these real life storybooks and not only reach people locally but reach them all over the world. This is a small mom and pop type ministry but God has given us the ability to do this. Now, in the midst of all of this, on December, of la December 15th or 20th of last year, we had printed our one millionth book. And I was in a time of celebration, so to speak, about printing the one million books. And as I was, I heard the Lord say to me, Son, that first million was just practice. I want you to gear up and I want you to start producing one million million books a year. And I must admit, my mind went tilt. How are we going to go from printing one million books over about a 17-year period to producing one million books a year? Here we are now. We are at a place where God has given us a network where we can get these books all over the world. But we've been operating on a budget of about five to six thousand dollars a month. It's going to take thirty-five thousand dollars a month to be able to print a million books and get them out to this network and distribute them. We have taken all of the steps to make this happen. We have the warehousing, we have the equipment to load and unload, we've done everything that we know to do and we're just waiting on God to make the rest happen. We are a, a one we are an Acts 1-8 ministry. It's all about reaching the lost. This is good soil. This is rich soil. This is fertile soil. There are carriers of hope, other people using these books in cities all over the United States already. 
We need others to partner with us, to participate with us, to be part of this. Prayerfully consider what your part might be in connecting with us to carry this gospel message around the world to touch people's lives. So we now have in print six books that are in our warehouse. The Lighthouse 567, the Trucker's Book, the Inmate Book, and the Spanish Edition Book. We've got teams of people all over the country called Carriers of Hope. These are the people who are actually in the books mostly. And some of them use two cases of books every month, some three, some four. And they simply do this. They take two books in hand everywhere they go and they say, Holy Spirit, show me how to use these. And they give them away to people everywhere they go. And so each one of these people is sewing anywhere from 50, 100, 150 books in the lives of people every, every month somewhere in the country. In addition to that, we have Trucker John and the books going out in the truck stops. We've got Mission Cry and Love Packages and books going into up to 180 countries through them. Another neat way to use books is what we call book displays. Uh, we've got book displays in businesses and cities all over the country. Uh, one, book, one, one fellow who's doing book displays is located in a place called Portage, Indiana. And he's a young man in his 70s, getting close to 80. And over a period of about 17 years, uh, he's had book displays in about 12 locations in the town of Portage. And he's given away roughly 40,000 copies. Young man, of close to 80 years old now, and he rides a bicycle to deliver these books and set them up. But this, this one man is affecting the lives of thousands of people in his city by freely giving these books away. There are many ways to give away these books, and you can find all of these ideas right on our website, uh, reallifestoriesbooks.com. That's www.reallifestoriesbooks.com. You'll find on there uh, a neighborhood outreach where we take books and we hang them on all the doorknobs in the neighborhood. Of course, the prison outreach we've already talked about, the truckers outreach we've already talked about. We do one called vehicle outreach where we just simply fold the book in half and stick it on the door handle of the car. Uh, there are people in various uh, states who, are, who have taken these books to hotels and they uh, put books in the rooms of all the hotels. Uh, they use them in hotel lobbies with book displays. Um, the books work real well when used in conjunction with other outreaches, uh, such as homeless ministry. They make a nice handout for Halloween, Christmas handout, used at bus stops, train stations, We've partnered with a fellow who has a food truck and he cooks the food and we give away the books. Even had a couple up in the state of Michigan did what they called a toilet paper outreach. And they simply took a plastic bag and put essentials like toilet paper in it and a real, real life storybook and they hung it on the door handle in every house in their neighborhood. So there's just many ways to get the gospel out. God's just looking for people willing to get out there and do it. Um, bulletin board outreach might sound like a strange one but I had this idea I was in some place one day and they had a bulletin board and I simply took a thumbtack and stuck it in the back of the book and, and, and thumbtacked it to the bulletin board and let it hang there somebody came along pulled the thumbtack out and here they are reading the book so there's a lot of ways we've used them in parades uh, in warm weather states where they use a lot of golf carts we've put them in the golf carts uh, hooked them onto bicycles uh, we have a couple of Uber and Lyft drivers and some taxi drivers who actually use them and give them to their clients. Uh, one, of, one of the Uber, dri Uber drivers told me that he just leaves the book set on the back seat of his car and people see them, they pick them up, they start reading them and they take them with them. Some ask for permission and some just take them. We have a fellow that uh, has partnered with us in the state of Hawaii who has a car coffee cart uh, business. He sells coffee and he gives away free books. We recently partnered with a local church 
who has a backpack ministry where they give away backpacks to people that are homeless and they put essentials in it and we put books in with it as well. So there's many ways to share the gospel. Uh, real life stories is one of those ways. It's proven to be a very effective way. Uh, it really takes the fear out of witnessing. And um, another one of those ways is what we call vacationing Jesus style. And vacationing Jesus style is when Carla and I load up the car and we'll put uh, 4,500 books in the car and we'll go on vacation for two or three weeks. And as we're going on vacation, everywhere we go and everybody that serves us in any way receives a book. We check into the hotel, we pass out books. We check out of the hotel, we pass out books. We go into the restaurant, we pass out books. And it's always nice to personalize those books when you can. You know, we've been in restaurants many times where we open the cover, we write to Sharon, thank you for the fantastic service today, uh, you're the best. And we sign it and tell her where she can read our stories and we'll give them the book. And very often then people will just light up, big smiles, many thank yous. And if they really react super positive, then we take it to the next level and we'll say something like, hey, who's the chef today? Who cooked this fantastic food? And they'll tell us and we'll get another book out and we'll put to Chef George. The pork chops were just delicious and tender. We love them. Thank you. And we'll send them back to the kitchen and we'll just ask our waiter or waitress, would you take these back to the cook? And they always do. Um, Carl and I were out just the other night at an anniversary, our 47th anniversary, by the way, this last Tuesday night. We were in a nice Italian restaurant having a meal. And before we left that restaurant, we gave away 43 books just in that one evening out with our family. And, you know, that's really neat, too, to be able to do that in front of your grandkids and your kids and your family so they can see how important it is to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. But anyway... Um, I just want to thank you again for you know watching this, for checking it out, and I really would suggest that you go to our website, www.reallifestoriesbooks.com, and if you do, go to the heading on the cross the website, the top tabs, and every one of those tabs has a drop down, and there's five or six different tabs underneath each section, and that website is just loaded with wonderful testimonies smiling faces of people who receive books, stories of people who've gotten saved by reading the books. It's also jam-packed with uh, salvation video testimonies. There's uh, some teachings. Uh, all of the teachings are dealing with how to learn how to share your faith. And one other thing you ought to check out while you're there, there's a 12-part discipleship series which teaches you everything you need to know to reach lost souls for Jesus. All of these things that I'm telling you about are on the website and they are absolutely free. We don't do this to make money. We do this to reach lost souls. So if you would prayerfully consider visiting the website, prayerfully considering partnering with us, maybe you want to write your testimony and have it in a book someday. These resources are available. We want to help people reach the lost. Thanks again. God bless you.